So since I moved to Johnson City, I didn't think there was much riding at first, but my friend started telling me about this place called Buffalo Mountain. It's about the best place I've found to ride in this area. It's all natural, rough built trails. None of it is machine made. I just like riding anywhere, everywhere, all the time. Up, down, and around the mountain, just as long as I'm on trails. Having sketchy moments and then just <laughs> pulling it off and going way faster than I thought was possible. I don't think I've ever been that fast on my bicycle. That's when I feel the best. I want to be the best in the world at everything. That's just my personality, so yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. So in seventh grade, I decided that I wanted to start being a little bit more active for whatever reason. I just felt like I needed to be athletic since all my friends were. And so I begged my parents to buy me a mountain bike so I could ride to school. And I didn't think it was that bad. And then one of my friends was like, you should enter a race. You're like Superman on bikes. And I didn't think I was that good. So I entered a race and wound up doing fifth place and kind of just hooked, so. Came to Johnson City to go to school at ETSU and that didn't work. So then I decided I wanted to move here full time instead of just being here for school. I had the mountains, I really got here and learned the area a lot better so I had a better feel for the trails that were around. And then I got a gym membership so it, everything just kind of fell together where the schedule, the time, the money, everything just worked where I was like, I need to devote my time to being good at something. So decided I wanted to do mountain biking full time. After a little while, once I got some credentials built up, I got on with Monster Energy and that was really big when I found myself on the front page of Monster Energy. That was just fantastic. I was so excited about that. Awesome! <laughs> In a dream world, I would like to get a pro license and start racing World Cups one day. That would definitely be where I want to go. That's going to take a lot of work and dedication to training, and so it would take at least two years for me to be able to think of doing that. Ideally, I wish that I could get on the perfect program, get all the fitness down right, have all the perfect trails to ride and the training and the time to devote to it so that I could go pro and see where that goes. I keep telling myself if I push hard enough, go fast enough, go long enough, then I'll eventually be better than everyone else. <laughs>